Hey everybody, it's Andy's Free Guitar Chart Videos. Welcome to my YouTube subscribers and my Facebook friends. And anyone who's found this video wants to learn more about Andy's guitar charts and uh, guitar. So, I want to catch up a couple of the um, charts that I made for uh, during the outage. So, during the storm that we had, we had an outage and... Uh, I made a few charts, uh, whatever I thought was important. So I think it's a good idea to look at this chart here, 240 chords and shapes, cage bound, chord size. What that means is uh, like a lot of um, guitarists might say that the cage system is uh, too, it limits you, you know, to certain cages and it's certainly um, obvious from this diagram uh, for instance when we look up here on the root arpeggio diagram here okay uh, where we would start a root arpeggio from the fifth and it's certainly going to go right out of that C cage here so this this is the, the tripentatonic C cage here okay so we got five seven two five seven and then we're going to go on in, in this particular drawing this particular fretboard then we're going to go on over to the d cage there as you can see um so it does uh, you know inhibit us sometimes you know if we're doing a major arpeggio there a g okay then we're going to go straight up to the seven so we're really in the D cage and the, uh, you know, so it would be actually an A shaped, which would be the fifth of the uh, D. And then we have the, uh, this G shaped here. So it does, it does transverse and you can do that. You don't have to limit yourself uh, to the, to the cage system but it is an important system you know and, and obviously the other you know here's the Phrygian third is gonna go and my favorite is when we get to the uh, the Dorian where we get a D minor shape up there um, I can't see it right now I should be able to see that but uh, the Dorian you know same thing minor third major third major fourth and then a minor third that's brought over by the tuning warp and then uh a major third there because when you go from if you have a minor if you have a major third a major third and a minor third if you drop that major third then you have a minor third and a major third so you, you just add those and it says right here, you know, so here, here's a, a little help, helper <coughs> on the D minor shape. It's really not that difficult to find one right there. We didn't even have a D minor shape on that particular root diagram. Um, we might have, but it wasn't labeled. Here's one that's labeled. So uh, starting here in, uh, you know, this... Um, it was it's the G cage here okay so this is our entire G cage with the lone wolf 7 you can see the uh, the arpeggio for the Phrygian starting on its fifth okay which is the the seventh of the of the parent key you know would be something like Right there <clears throat> this D minor shaped Phrygian here <clears throat> and like in, in this case it was <clears throat> E minor is you know gone out of the G cage and into the A cage so when you're doing arpeggios like that um, Keep in mind, it's going to transverse, and especially when you get to half diminish, it'll go like three cages. However, 
it's still when you want to play chords you have to stop somewhere right you have to stop somewhere and play chords so that's in the defense of the you know uh, core a uh, cage system <clears throat> where once we uh, decide we're going to play a chord such as this D minor Phrygian minor here we are in the a <clears throat> the a cage there we can look at it as we're in the a cage there okay um, there are other uh, D minor shaped chords down here all right where we've got three seven right here we're in the middle of you know this is the same thing we're in the middle of um, the two cages once again there so it's going out of that cage but we are completely in the a cage there and we're, there's also other D minor shapes that are in the cage um, it's just here this one's in the E cage right here <clears throat> so we have this uh, D minor shaped A minor because I know that light blue is A minor so it's uh, 3 6 root okay so we're gonna look for that 3 6 root um, probably probably should be hello way down here is kind of low uh, and that's going to be a uh, see. So that's that's where we have actually we have a fret nut right here. So that would be an open root, but it's still in the in the E cage there. But that's kind of a half E cage there. So it would be actually a better idea to go up here. So we got the three, the six, and the and the root there. So when we play that chord, we would nor we would normally bar it like this. Because the E cage is normally barred, uh, normally barred at the uh, at the root. All right, unless we're going like to a half diminished, where you know we would or or the B the fifth of uh, the fifth of something where we want to go to a C shape B there okay but that's that's a that's a B major so that would be putting in a different key so we don't do that um, if you're an F you can go to a C shape and, and go to the C there which is its fifth um, but if we're playing the um, if we're playing in that E cage there like this with an E K A shape C. Okay, yeah, that would be that. That's not a B. Yeah, that's 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 our G. I, I, uh, it has a B on the bottom string there. Okay, which is the the third. So it's the usual C shape. So this would be like a C shaped uh, G. Okay. And we can play our C, but we wouldn't want to play that C diatonic right there, um, except for the, you know, except for the fact that the, the the root chord was in the E cage. So we would play an E shaped diatonic there. Okay, we wouldn't play the C shaped diatonic there. Yeah, I thought that was the uh, the B there. <laughs> Wake up. <coughs> so that's just a little a little talk about um, arpeggios, and you know, just giving a little time to this particular chart here. As you know, uh, we have our favorite um, representation. We're going to talk more about the modal circles. And we can list out this circle. We can list this out into the different shapes for each of the cages and the modes that we're going to deal with as we go along. So you can see everything looks normal in the C shape here. <clears throat>